Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics for tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create custom channel groups. Channel groups that we define how we want to group the incoming traffic. Before we go there, first of all, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And now we can go straight to the point. So before we go there, keep in mind that we have here session default channel group. We have this dimension. So this is a default way of how Google Analytics 4 groups the incoming traffic. And if you want to understand how this happens, I'm going to place a link basically in the chat. It happens based on everything that you see on this link here. So this is the glossary and describes basically based on the UTM tags, the source, the medium, the campaign, and everything else that you have in the URLs, how Google Analytics 4 groups the incoming traffic. I'm going to have this link in the video description. Now, that's the default. And from here, we have also other dimensions. For example, we have the dimension source slash medium. We have the dimension medium, source, and so forth. Source means the website platform entity where the traffic is coming from. Medium means the type of the traffic and so forth. Our objective here is we want to create a new dimension, a new way of grouping the incoming traffic. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new session default channel grouping basically here, right? And we are going to give the conditions and therefore we're going to create our own kind of channels based on exactly how we want the traffic to be grouped. How can we do that? We're going to come to GA4, obviously. We're going to go to admin. Once we go to admin, then we're going to go in the middle column under data settings, and we're going to click on channel groups. And you see here that we have a default channel group. So this is the default way that I told you GA4 uses to group incoming traffic. We're going to create a new channel group. And we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it new channel group. And now under this new channel group, we can keep all the channels basically that pre-exist. And my recommendation is to keep everything that pre-exists, unless you want a completely different way to group your incoming traffic. And let's see how we can create new custom channels here, right? So we are going to click here on add a new channel. And let's say I want a channel that is going to be called Instagram Organic. So I want to actually create a channel that is going to group all the traffic that comes from Instagram organically. So I'm going to name this channel Instagram Organic. I'm going to add the condition. And here I'm going to describe the condition. So I'm going to say when the source, for example, matches exactly, or I can see contains regular expression and so forth. But I'm going to say when the source matches exactly Instagram, then I want you to take this traffic and group it under Instagram organic. And then I'm going to save the channel. And with this logic, you can create as many channels as you want. For example, you can say, I want to have a channel that is going to be called Facebook organic and another channel that is going to be called newsletter and another channel that I'm going to call it programmatic, for example. Right? So always what you're going to do is you're going to click here on add a new channel, give your channel a name and then come here and give the condition based on the medium, the source, or the campaign name, right? So essentially UTM tags or how the system automatically groups this traffic. And once we do this, so I think here I clicked out, so let me actually recreate. So we're going to call it new channel grouping, and then we're going to add this new channel again, and let me actually say it's going to be Instagram organic. And this is going to be grouped under Instagram organic when the source matches exactly, for example, Instagram. And maybe I need, can give another condition. And when the medium, for example, matches exactly referral, because typically when organic traffic comes from Instagram, it is labeled as source Instagram and medium referral. So I'm going to save my channel here. And now I have this new channel uh, grouping with Instagram organic also here and all the pre-existing channel groups. I'm going to save this group. And now that I save this group, 
I have a second dimension. I have the default channel group and I have the new channel grouping. What this means now is that you will be able to come here to your report. So you will be able to come here to your traffic acquisition report. And under the traffic acquisition report now, you are getting the session default channel group and you can click, flip the dimension and you can select the session new channel grouping, which is what we created. So which means that we kept the pre-existing way that Google Analytics 4 actually works when it comes to labeling incoming traffic, but we created our own logic, perhaps with our own channels, right? So we can flip basically to this dimension and we can actually see a different way of labeling the incoming traffic. And this is very useful for all those of you who want to organize your channels in a different way as opposed to what Google Analytics 4 gives you by default. That's it. That's how easy it is. So remember what you're doing here is you're creating a new dimension, a new channel grouping. How you can do that is you go to admin, under your data settings, you're going to go to channel groups. You're going to create a new channel group. You're going to give it a name. So this is a new dimension. And under this new channel group, then you're going to go here and add channels and give the conditions that you want for every channel that you want to create. And once this is created, then what you are going to do is you are going to be able to go to any report or in Looker Studio, for example, and pull this new dimension that you just created that I call new channel grouping. So that's it. The conditions are going to be based on the source and the medium. So be careful in terms of how you basically give these conditions. The order of the channel also matters. So the system will group basically first the channels that come on position one, two, three, and so forth. It's going to follow all these conditions. So if you want to create an entire new logic, make sure that you are a bit careful for things not to overlap there. That's all for today. I hope that you found value on this video and you understood how you can create your own custom channel group. Maybe before we close, a question that I got and I think is very interesting, right? So can you actually customize the default? So can we actually change the way the, set, the default channel group actually works here? Can we do that? Right. So the answer is yes. So you can go here to data settings. And if you want, instead of creating a new channel group, you can go here to default channel group and you can click here and Frequently asked questions. Question number one, can we change the session default channel group? Can we change the default way that Google Analytics actually groups the traffic? Can we play around with this existing dimension here? The answer is no. So unfortunately, when you go here to admin and you go to data settings and you go to channel groups, let's say that you want to mess around with the default channel grouping. If you go and click here, you are going to see that the option to add new channels or to reorder these channels is grayed out. So you cannot mess around with the default channel group. And that's a good thing because it means that whatever else you do, whatever, let's say, new channel grouping you are going to create, the default is always going to exist. So you are always going to be able to access the default channel grouping. What you can do is you can create a new dimension, a new channel grouping with a completely new logic based on exactly what you want to see and how you want to see basically the channels coming up. That's it for today. I hope that you found value in this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.